Hi, my name is Bill Barney. I'm with Community Dish in Pahrump, Nevada. I'm an SBCA licensed installer, that's Satellite Broadcast Communications Association, and I'd like to help you with your satellite installation. I'm going to talk about burning a smart card to a satellite receiver. The smart cards are pre-burned by the factory and made it to the receiver. This prevents the card from being used in any other receiver other than the one it is mated to. The smart cards are located behind a panel, we've taken the panel off in this case, on the left side of the receiver. Push and open the panel door, you can remove the card. The smart cards generally have a Dish Network logo on one side with an up arrow. That's the direction that the card has to go into the receiver when we replace the card. On the back side of the card is a little copper contact point. I'm going to try and angle that so you can see it. And that copper contact point is what makes contacts with the electronics inside the receiver itself. Inside of these contact points there's an embedded chip that contains personal information about not only the receiver but also about the people that the receiver's been assigned to. In other words, your name, your address, and a little bit of your account number and who you are. When replacing this card back into the box, again, make sure the arrow faces into the box that you see the Dish Network logo facing up. Reinsert the card, slide it all the way to the back firmly. It'll stop for just a moment. Give it a little extra shove till it stops completely. Again, I would like to emphasize that there is no way to burn a Dish Network smart card or to mate it to any other receiver. They're factory assigned, they're burned at the factory, they're mated to the receiver, and in fact, Dish Network retailers get the receivers and the cards together.